Hi, I'm Julian Gonzalez, and in today's video, I'm going to show you some stretches for release hips and the lower back. Okay, let's start with the first one. Now, laying down on your back, bringing close to your chest as much as you can, one leg. And try to make an extension, full extension, the another, another leg. Try to support completely and bring in this another one as close to your chest as much as you can. Inhale and exhale, full exhalation, completely. And just stay here, it can be 20 or 30 seconds. And try to feel comfortable. Just release your shoulders. You have, you have to maintain your shoulders down. And now, the next step, bring in close your forehead as close as you can to your knee. And just hold the stretch. Inhale and exhale. And release. Now next side. Bring in as close as you can from the chest. And try to maintain your shoulders down and inhale and exhale all the time. Now next step, bringing close the head, your forehead to your knee. As close as you can. Inhale and exhale. And remember, shoulders should be down all the time. And now release. And now, the next one, bringing close, one leg, bend the knee, and now, turning to the side, and now supporting one hand beside of your knee, and opening one arm, bringing to the side, the hand, palm down, touching the ground, and turning your face to another side, and try to maintain, try to keep your shoulder down and try to release your hip as much as you can. And hold the stretch for 20 or 30 seconds. Inhale and exhale. And as the time is running, try to increase the range of motion and try to release Step by step, slowly, and increase a little bit the range of motion. And now release and come back to the center. Another, another one, another leg, bring into your chest and supporting the side of your knee, one hand, and opening to the side. The arm palm down, touching the ground, and facing to another side, the opposite side. One knee is going to one side and your head is going to another side. And try to stay there and hold the stretch. And try to feel, try to look for the point of stretch, that you can feel the stretch in a comfortable place. And try to increase, as the time is running, Try to increase the range of the motion and hold and release. Now coming back to the center slowly and come back. And now both knees to your chest and hug your knees. And now fold, folding the body, bringing the, the forehead as close as you can to your knees and try to release try to release your lower back your back and inhale and exhale and come back to the center now bringing close bringing together your knees and now bringing down to one side and now push down your knees 
down, trying to touch the ground, open the another arm, touching the ground with the palm of the hand, and now facing, looking to another side, and try to release your lower back. If you, if you feel some discomfort, just stop the exercise, just try, try to do it as better as you can. And hold here at the same time, 20 to 30 seconds. Inhale and exhale, releasing all the air. Now coming back to the center, release. And now bringing together your knees to another side and opening the arm and holding the stretch. And facing to another side, the opposite side. and holding the stretch, 20 to 30 seconds, or you can stay here a little more. And coming back to the center. And now, one leg in extension, turning to the side and repeat again. One side, release. And coming back to the center and repeat it again one more time to another side and hold the stretch and come back to the center and now switch the position now turning your body to the side one leg in front of you another leg in extension, it can be a little bit bend the knee. And now, bringing close your your chest, your trunk to your leg. And now, pressing down and holding the stretch. Twenty feel thirty seconds. Maintain the posture and try to release step by step your hip and your lower back. And try to increase the range of motion just step by step, trying to press down a little bit more your chest again against the leg. Now come back up, inhale and exhale, and now switch the position. Bending the knee and coming down to another side. And supporting as much as you can. And pressing down as much as you can. and come on up and the next one for release the psoas muscle supporting one leg in front of you just carrying here try to keep here try to keep in the line the toes align with the knee try to avoid this that your knee stay far away from your toes and try to keep in the line and now support the hands in the ground and now we are releasing here all these muscles of the anterior part of your thigh we are releasing the psoas muscle and try to hold the same time it can be 20 30 seconds or it can be a little more and now supporting forearms and now releasing and try to expand your chest and lengthening your spine as much as you can and holding here this is the target area 
we are releasing here the sauce yeah it's a heat flexor and we are releasing those muscles there and come back to the center and just try to do it by another side and the same the same thing the same process supporting here and try to hold the stretch and maintain the posture and remember this line here toes and the knee have to be in line and you have some discomfort on your knees try to support using a pillow if you have some pain there just stop and release now supporting supporting forearms and releasing and hold the stretch and come back to the center and perfect you can have, you can repeat this routine of exercises it can be every single day and try to increase the range of the motion and with these exercises you will you will feel more flexible you will release in all the tension of the hips and the lower back okay i hope that you enjoy this video and see you next time keep in contact and try to subscribe to my youtube channel okay bye bye